Welcome back in. Time for Money Tuesday. And a recent study by a group with more than $2 trillion in retirement revealed some very interesting results. Here to tell us more about that and also how we can gain the, quote, psychology of retirement, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group. Stuart, good to see you this morning. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, first of all, talk about this and, and, and what we can glean from it. Yeah, there was a study. This is PIMCO, a study of 750 wealthy investors. And they really focused on the psychology of investing particularly as you get toward retirement. And the first thing they found out was that 83% were uh, literally overconfident in their ability to retire. So they said, we have way more than enough money and we're in good shape. When they did a little digging, they found out that 75% of them either had unrealistic expectations or actually had no spending plan at all. Wait a minute, so wait a minute. 73% of the 83,000, or 83% who was overconfident, who had all that money, they didn't yeah. have enough? Oh yeah, they didn't. So they've just, wow. it's literally a pie in the sky mentality. And the problem is, is they don't ever stop to actually sit down and do the calculation and see what does it really take when you don't get a paycheck? What does it really take to make this work? And that's a lesson I really for anybody, right? Or no matter how much money you're saving. No, and I think the answer is, is you've got to get a spending plan, a retirement mm -hmm. spending plan, and you don't want to wait until you retire to do that. You've got to start really early. Come up with a plan and start working the plan. It's just that simple. So if you're a retiree, though, I, I, there was some information uh, I think this revealed about those who fear the market. Uh, is, that, is that bad advice, that you, even though you're a retiree? Yes. Yeah, so uh, the second thing is uh, once you retire, what we found is that people actually become very fearful of the market. And I think the reason is, is they don't have a paycheck to back them up. Mm -hmm. And that'll cause people to either exit the stock market when it gets turbulent, which is typically the wrong thing to do, or they'll stay in, but they'll stay in very fearful, which is no way to kind of live your retirement. Or the third thing they might do is they say, I'm just not going to do stocks. And I can tell you, Virtually every study says you're, you're going to need to have a substantial allocation of stocks, typically 50% or more. So you're going to need a really good strategy that allows you to live through that. And uh, when we talk about the psychology of retirement, when, as it relates to estate planning, what did, what did this uh, find out and what should people know? Yeah, I think uh, when we got to estate planning, uh, a lot of people don't have an estate plan. Uh, but particularly the concern was uh, decumulation. So they spent all their life accumulating money for retirement. And then to see their accounts actually decumulate, spend down is, is psychologically very difficult for them. Hmm. I think the solution to that is actually come up with a, an estate plan so that you say, okay, I can spend down part of my money in order to have a good retirement. And I also can leave something to the next generation. And might maybe feel a bit better about what's going on there as you do that. All right. Well, so some good advice here. And uh, from that, uh, Stuart Welch from the Welch Group, we always appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. All right. Well, we got the Good Day Buzz coming up.